Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to boost your FPS and reduce your input delay in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. I think it's safe to say for everybody that once we all updated our game and started playing the new Fortnite season, our FPS was terrible. And for me specifically, I wasn't even able to get a constant 100 FPS when playing the game. Now, after doing these steps in this video, I was able to boost my FPS to upwards to 150, all the way up to 200 FPS just by doing these couple steps. So make sure you watch to the end of the video so that you don't miss anything important because everything I talk about is super important. Now before I get into anything too deep, we're going to go ahead and change our settings in actual Fortnite. And to do that, we're going to go over here to the settings tab and we're going to start on DirectX 11. If you're on performance mode, go ahead and switch to this because we need to change our DirectX 11 settings. That way our performance mode settings will also be the same. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to put everything on low. And then we're going to change our 3D resolution to 100. And then we're going to go ahead and keep all that. When it actually added two new settings this season and that is the new download high resolution textures you want that off then you also want to make sure that high resolution texture reminders is off as well because reminders are pretty boring and we don't want that on anyway then we're going to make sure that everything else is off vsync off motion blur off that's super bad you don't want that show fps on and then rendering mode we're going to go ahead and change it back to performance mode Allow multi-thread multi rendering if you have more than two CPU cores. You can see that by pulling up your task manager. We're going to go over here to performance. We're going to go over here and click on your CPU. It's going to show you how many cores you have right there. Let me go ahead and blow that up for you guys. It's going to show you right there. If you have more than two cores right there, go ahead and use multi-threaded rendering. That's going to boost your FPS quite a bit actually. And then we're going to make sure that we have uh, crash debugging off, latency markers off because those are actually bugged and they don't work at all. And then NVIDIA reflex low latency, we're going to have that turned on plus boost because that's going to help you out quite a bit. Then hit apply. And we're going to go ahead and have to restart a game now since we switched to performance mode. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. All right, but right before you go ahead and launch your game, go over here to your library in the Epic Game Settings. And then go ahead and click on the two dots right there and then click on options and you see how high resolution textures was on even though i did not have the setting allowed in actual fortnite settings go ahead and click on that to turn it off because you don't want those hit apply and then it's gonna just uh verify the game to make sure that we have everything good it's verified we're gonna go ahead and check it one more time to verify that we have all the game files that's going to make sure that everything is there and that if you are missing anything, it's going to go ahead and fix it for you, which will help you boost your FPS and reduce your input delay as well. So it should only take a couple minutes. I'm going to go ahead and verify that real quick, right? And it only took about three to four minutes and I'm going to go ahead and launch Fortnite. And this time it's going to be launched with performance mode, which is going to be the best performance setting. And I'll be right back once the game's actually launched. All right, guys, so now I'm back in Fortnite. As you can see, it's performance mode. It looks a little bit worse, but obviously that's going to give us much more FPS. And you can see that we don't have nearly as many settings anymore, but still make sure that all these settings are off. Uh, view distance and textures this season, you want those both on the lowest setting possible. I know before I've said that you want them on medium, but both of these put it on the lowest setting possible. That's going to help out your performance overall. Then go ahead and close that. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and check our FPS in creative and see what we're able to run while on these settings. All right, so I'm in a creative map. I'm going to go ahead and uncap my FPS so we can see how much FPS I actually get. And then I'm going to go ahead and free build. And as you guys can see, I'm getting upwards to 200 FPS, almost 300 FPS, but about a stable 200 FPS just while free building here. Now, the worst part about this new season is high meshes and low meshes are the exact same thing. Fortnite actually uh, messed up and they actually took out low meshes right now. So you have to play on high meshes, which is going to make your input delay very bad. But they said they're actually working on it and that they're going to try to actually fix it. So as you guys can see, I'm on low meshes, but I have high meshes builds, which kind of sucks. But Fortnite is working on it. They're going to fix it very soon. Now, as you guys can see, my FPS is pretty... Uh, pretty high but it's not very constant so there's actually a couple things we can go ahead and do to fix that and we're going to just close fortnite for that real quick so what we're going to do once we actually are on our desktop is we're going to come down here to the little search bar we're going to type in settings that's going to open up and what we're going to do is come over here to our system 
We're going to make sure that our notification and actions is off because that's going to give you more FPS. Turn focus assist off as well. And then make sure that you, if you have a battery, it's at 100%. And then storage is also a really important thing. Whatever uh, SSD that you actually have Fortnite on, you want to make sure you have some freed up space. So as you can see here, I have a lot of applications here. I might want to try to go ahead and delete any games I'm not playing or anything like that. But I can go ahead and free up some space for Fortnite to actually be able to run. Now the next thing we're going to do is turn off multitasking because this is going to require more FPS and honestly you don't need it whatsoever. Then we're going to back up and we're going to come over here. We're going to go to gaming and we're going to make sure that our Xbox game bar is off because that records and if you have shadow play or any other recording software that's much better than Xbox Xbox game bar you're not going to need that whatsoever make sure you go ahead and have captures turned off as well because this is going to record and we don't need that if we have another recording and then uh, xbox game mode is actually uh really useful when it comes to gaming for video games like fortnite valorant anything like that this is going to optimize your pc for pc play which is useful and honestly boosts your FPS quite a bit. So once we're done with that, all we have to do while in our window settings is go ahead and check for an update. So I'm gonna go ahead and check for an update. If there is a Windows update, then I'm gonna go ahead and update. Make sure that you do not download Windows 11 because Windows 11 is really bad for your PC and especially with gaming, it's gonna lead to many FPS stutters and no smooth FPS whatsoever. All right guys, and now that I'm all up to date on my Windows updates, I'm gonna go ahead and open up GeForce Experience. And this is where I'm gonna go ahead and update my Nvidia drivers for my Nvidia graphics card. So the best way to do this is just check for an update. It's going to pull up the best one or the most recent one. And I'm going to go ahead and download that update. Updating your NVIDIA driver will actually help your game be much smoother because it's going to reduce FPS drops. And it's also going to improve your input delay because it's going to be more FPS for you to use, which will reduce your input delay. So I'm going to go ahead and download that real quick and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So now that we're all done with that, we can go ahead and open our Epic launcher again. And then we're going to go ahead and launch Fortnite. And then I will be right back once we have Fortnite open. All right, guys. So I'm back in Fortnite now. And I'm going to go ahead and launch Creative again and see how much FPS we get now that we have fixed all of our window settings and updated everything else as well all right guys so now that we have all of our stuff updated and our window settings as well as you guys can see my fps is not really dropping below 150 fps even while building it is not much going down very far at all so this is actually the best settings and everything that i recommend you guys to do to boost your fps as much as possible in the new fortnite season but obviously when low meshes come back, you want to go ahead and be on that because that's going to give you the least amount of input play as well. But as you guys can see, I've basically fixed everything. But there is one more thing I want to tell you guys, and that is that you basically just need to give your PC time to go ahead and adapt to the new map. So the more you play on the new Fortnite map with like the blimps and everything, the better your FPS is going to get because your PC is going to get used to all the new settings and all the new uh, actual things on the map. So just go ahead and give your PC time and I 100% guarantee that you can actually fix the settings and everything like that so that you can actually get better FPS as well. Now if you guys found this video helpful or you actually enjoyed it make sure to drop a like and to subscribe because only about less than 10% of the people watching my videos are actually subscribed. I hope you guys have a great day and peace out guys.